is up everybody my name is ctbtr and welcome back to another episode of cl city the ways of this city how it's been built um the last episode we were looking at and doing the sections of where you're supposed to go and and by pressing this button it takes you a different part of the world that you see on this world map but it goes back to the, to the, the, the place that you're at, CL City. And there's also a second map. There's why, that's, there's, that, that, that's why, I can't even speak today, my bad. That's why there's two separate ones, which we have the maps of CL City and the maps of the world. So that way we have both of them. So you can see exactly what spots you're at in the city. But today, we're now looking at CL East yet, but today we're looking at this school. Oops. I forgot that this is still there, but don't mind that. That's been covered in the last episode. Anyways, so today we're going to start off with this side of CL West all the way from that point into this point. And remember, I talked about this border thing that's within the beginning of the very first episode. It, it's pretty much dividing up the city. Alright, so, over here, we're going to start off with the people who has built their houses. And then we'll mark our ways for the buildings too. And also places too. Anyways, this is my niece's house. And I'm going to call her by her username named Punchy. Not Punchy. Pumchy, my bad. If she ends up watching this video, my bad. But this is her house, and this is what it is. And right here, I updated this. This is her own stuff right here, and nobody can go in there. So nobody can't go in there in any shape or form. And there's another way that she can get to, which is right there, which I forgot. But it actually lines up pretty well. Next up, we got CL City Tower, or the CL Tower, my bad. It's pretty much the land holder of all the buildings and stuff, and this is like the Mayor's Tower or something like that. It's not canon yet, but this is what it is. This is the final version of itself. We, we used to have the, the balcony here, but it doesn't exist anymore. Then, of course, we got the community pool right next to it. Has the bathrooms as well. And then we got the CL store, because right, right going here, you got these two villagers up to the, the, the cash register, and you got these, um, a, the resemblance of what stuff you could bring, or trying to, uh, try to get, and also, as well, looking in these refrigerators to look at something else. Alright, next we are in the Supreme Tower area. And this building used to be Solon's building, but he's no longer in within it. However, I decided to make this as a, as a tower. Next we got this web weapon shop this is where you could get your weapons out of here. And of course we got someone's house that used to be here. This person used to be, like I said, multiple times. He's no longer here. And I'm gonna say his name, Philip. It will be no longer here because I'm done with his his bull crap, whatever what it is. And and along with his friend, which I, which I you know. But soon I'll in, I'll reiterate that that broadcast of information and I'll get I'll get that out soon. But um. He used to go into this area of part of CL City. This part right here, it doesn't exist. We'll get that to in a minute. And he used to be right in the middle, right here. But since it's no longer here, he gets moved right here. But then after the chaos that, that I have been gone through, as everybody knows, this is now a rental house. He doesn't own it anymore, and he's no longer within the world. Next, we got the Slope Tower. It's very simple. It looks like this, but then when you look right behind it, it looks like this. And then we got the senior tower. Behind this tower, 
It used to be all all the way over here, which we'll get that in a minute too. And it used to be called the senior house, but this got turned into a office tower. So we'll get that in a minute based on its design. Next, we got the Nether Hotel. Very simple. And now let's get to the the, the, the next uh, row. We got the... We got the campfire cabin. We got the laundry mat. We got a villager house. I think it is a villager house. Or a random house. I think it's a random house. It, 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 it's supposed to be a villager in here, but I don't know what happened. Next, we got um, another house right here. And then this is going to be references in here of the buildings. This is called Empire CL. The reason why behind of this tower is going to be resembling as the Empire State Building that's in New York. It's pretty much the entire city is actually resemblance to that. Don't don't ask me no, don't ask me why I put it that way, but it looks cool. But I couldn't actually put the windows in in front of the, these sides from front to back, but on the sides we did this. Well, I did that, so that's pretty much how it is, and that's how it works. And then, of course, we got the Beacon Tower, which is another landmark, but this is actually a cool idea to know where you're at. And then we got the restaurant over here, which, if we go inside, it looks like this, but when you get to the back area, it looks like this. It's pretty much the kitchen, and you go back out here is like the trash area. Now let me get myself out of there. And then of course we got uh, Lone's house, aka Aiden, as everybody knows. My own uh, friend that's from ninth grade. Or that is from ninth grade. He didn't... Okay, this part right here he actually did build. This part right here he actually didn't get to yet. But overall it still completes... Somebody else used to be in here, and it was not okay, but also at the same time, this build is from them, but we didn't steal it, it's just now, you know, it's roughly owned, because I am the owner of the world, so, yeah. And then we got Lucian's house, baby. If he's watching this, he already seen it before, but it got converted to like this, and we... And his uh, dog got, rep got replaced by a sheep, but put it as dinner bone by his own favorite color, purple. And then Clint Jeb is there, the Easter egg. If, if you put it like a, a, a name tag and put Jeb underscore, that, that would do the trick. Within his own house, it's, nothing, it's not as much in here, but it's pretty cool. If we go upstairs, which is actually amazing, and I kind of fixed up the armory to look like they're ready to like stand and just you know raise their swords and then now down here we got his own uh studio setup there's nothing really in, in here besides this that's his own gaming setup or something like that but i kind of tried as as best as i can to do it but overall it works and then we got another rental house down here. This is another reference right here. This is the ground zone area. This is arena, I meant to say. This is from when me and Caleb, aka CT Cool, subscribe to him. Um, we built a sky zone arena back on his old versions of his world. And we decided to kind of remove it. I was like, damn, really? So I was like, I had that idea decided area where I supposed to place this reference and that's where it's gonna be of course we got a well we got a fountain right here we got a CL hotel which is the main hotel out of everything then we got let me see then we got Ian's house and I decided to kind of fix up his house a little bit. It's now more better than ever. And then if you go to his second floor, it looks more like this. And then his first floor is now look like this. So Ian, if you're watching this, this is for you, dude. 
And also he got his we got his his friend up in here too. And I decided some traditional upgrades with it. And it works. And then of course we got a pool right here they can go to. And then we got another tower, which is CL Business Tower. And also another tower right next to it is the MS Tower. And not gonna lie, they're pretty cool. They're actually pretty cool in a sense. And next we got Crystal's Bakery. If you guys don't know who Crystal is, she's the she appeared in uh wait. What are you doing outside of the freaking house? You villager. Any any sort of who. Um Crystal's bakery, pretty much this is her own bakery, but she owns it, but I'm rightfully owning the building because it's my own world, like I said. But it's like a gift. But yeah, Crystal has been appeared a couple of times on the channel. And she had her very first appearance in the part two of the micro survival, but it's now cancelled, by the way. And then, we, and then, of course, we got a, a villager house. And then we got a lab. This is where I could test the coding and stuff right end up in here. Then we got... Now we need to get to here because we didn't get to the rest of the stuff here. We got another house right here. That's a villager house. Then we got the chisel tower. It looks like this. And then we got Joseph's house. Then we got Elijah ho Elijah's house. He has not been appeared on the channel yet, but Joseph, he has appeared, appeared a couple of times. Playing the recent uh, appearance. And then this is my own house. I think this is my own... This this is probably my biggest... This is probably the biggest house i ever seen. By far, because... Um, uh, there's somebody's house we'll get to them in a minute, too. Yeah, he's quicker. Then we got Jacob's house. If you guys don't know who Jacob is, he's a brother to another uh, person that we know is Chase. And he makes Polygon videos, but I'm not going to mention that, but that's his own ways of doing. So if you're watching this, Chase, this is your house. You own it. But this is used to be Ian's house because there's a lot of reasons. And it works. And also this guy. Let me get that out of the way. Anyways, and then of course somebody else's house was used to be here, but somebody's name Rainbow no longer is around. But he 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 or she, depending, got replaced by Isaac, and this is what his houses look like. And I did a little, a little bit of upgrading, so that's his house. If you guys don't know who Isaac is, he's a he used to be called as Robbie. But he used to have his old channel, but there's a lot of things going on with his own controversy with that. But I'm not gonna get into that because, because um, it's not it's not good. So he ends up making a new channel to kind of replace it and make it where it's better, and just you know moving on, you know. But that's his house. Next we got a golden house, rent, which is pretty cool. Another rent here. Um. Then we got another Raffins from the New York City part, which is now called, this building's now called CL City Trade Center. And the way how this building works is that you go up to the top and it has lights up here, which is pretty awesome. It has that slanted slope. But once you get inside, you have multiple doors. You can go up each step. And get to the middle right here and you keep continuing on towards the top which is a very cool concept idea and the person who was helping me on this it was Philip the re like I said the reason why that he didn't get credit for on the trailer is because like I said but he helped with me on this but I honestly don't care about him anymore because of the, the ways how how things were turned out so, screw him for that. And then we got the Jenna Center, which is a dark building with the with the black glass. And as you can see at night, it's almost like it's never seen. But you can still see it in any particular way. 
Next, we got the Star Tower, which is pretty much a step tower, I guess. And then finally, we finally get to this building, the Steel Office Tower. Originally, the Senior House. Usually, we put the usually I put the like these benches right here, and the seniors can go up to this. But now it's called the Office Tower, where everybody can work on this, on this tower, wherever they want to do, and that's pretty much it. And we're down to our three last, I think the three last ones out of CL West. I think there's nothing else left that I ever see. Yeah, so these are the last ones. So, let's start off with the AC, AC Hotel. It's not a bad hotel, but when you get up to the its unique design, it's pretty cool. It looks like this. Anyways, this house, I wanted to also give a credit to the coding once again by Red Ninja, aka Red, aka also the real person's name is Adrian. He helped with the coding and I decided to give him his own house to be all finished. So you got his enchantment table, his own uh, homework, or his own desk I meant to say. And I don't know what happened to the TV, it should have been... It should have been right in there. Also, there's no lantern, which that makes it obvious. And then, if you go upstairs, he has his own bed right here. His own chest and stuff. He has his, he has other... See, I don't know what happened to the paintings. It keeps on messing thing, the, the setting up. Overall, though, it's pretty good. And then, finally, we finally get to someone's house. Which is Caleb's house, or known as the mansion. Now, the story behind this house was really, really ridiculous. It's not like, you know, stupidly ridiculous, but it's like crazy ridiculous. This used to be covering all this area right around here when I'm literally going around exactly what I meant, including this whole entire area too. And he has a big old mansion. And I did not like that in a certain ways, but it used to be the biggest one. But now my house is actually now the biggest one. Or second, or first, depending on which house it is. But after that, did some changes. His house is now like this. So when you get into this house, he has his own TV, his couch, a lot of books, his own stuff right there. His own kitchen. And then there's the basement right here. Which I also cut off too to make it a little bit more smaller, but not as big. And then he has his own back way area that he can go out here. That's why it's there for a reason. And then finally, if you go up here, to which I made this a double stair, but if you go right here, he has his hallways of rooms, and at the end, his his own royal um, room, which is pretty awesome. There we go. And I think that's it. There's nothing else left with this. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. I can I keep on I keep on repeating it. My bad. This right here is a observe observation here. And also, why is this here? That should not be in existence. I honestly don't know. This right here is where you can go at these places, and right here, what I'm pointing at is the op the observation of seeing, you know, what's what these people are doing at golf. Put it that way. And I think that's it. This is the end of the CL CL West part, and we already done the northern uh, the northern west. If you check out the first video, now it's time for the CL East which will be in the next episode and the final episode too so guys thank you guys for watching this video all the way through and if you like more of this content let me know as well you if you guys like the other sets of content that I have please consider subscribing as possible that helps out the channel very well and that is pretty much it and I will see you guys in the